मैं सर सतीश थड़ेंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉलचन इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिगार्डिंग द फ्लोर्स ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज विच आर विच आर रिक्वायर फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द पर्टिकुलर लर्नर विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द फ्लोर्स एसोसिएट विद एक्टिविटीज एंड देर यूज फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट नाउ लेट्स वी सी द पर्टिकुलर फ्लोर्स ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज इट इज अ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी रेंज ऑफ द टाइम अवेलेबल विद एक्टिविटी by which particular activity can be delayed without affecting the overall project duration and it is a difference between the particular activities times here the it is a difference between the latest starting time and the earlier starting time that is the latest starting time and the earlier starting time and the latest finishing time and the earliest finishing time of which we have to define the float there are three particularly when we observe there are four types of floats that is a total floats free float independent float and the interfering float now let's see one by one the total float a total float is a time span available with the activity by which the particular activity can be delayed without affecting the overall project duration the formula for the total float is nothing else as we have seen that is for the earlier slide that is latest starting time minus earliest starting time or you can say latest finishing time minus earliest finishing time let's see the example of activity a here the latest starting time of the activity a is 0 and the earliest starting time is 0 so 0 minus 0 we get the zero value and the latest finishing time is 3 and the earliest finishing time is 3 so 3 minus 3 it's a zero as we see that the particular value of total float is zero means the activity a is the critical one if the values of the total float or the float of the activity is more than zero then the particular activity is a non critical one now the free float the free float is a time span by which the activity can be delayed without affecting the succeeding activity and it is a portion of the total float here the formula for the free float is here it is the earlier starting time of a succeeding activity of the selected activity of which the free float is to be determined minus the earliest finishing time of the activity of which the free float is to be determined now let us find out the value of activity a free float free float of activity a is equal to est of activity b minus eft of activity a est of activity a and we have to here yeah, yeah, we have to see the est of activity that is a succeeding activity that is b activity that is 3 3 minus 3 it is equal to 0 now independent float the independent float is the excess time available if the preceding activity end as late as possible and the succeeding activity start as early as possible now let's see the formula for the independent float the independent float formula is est of succeeding activity of selected activity of which the independent float is to be determined minus lft of the preceding activity of the selected activity of which independent float is to be determined minus the activity duration of which independent float is to be determined here let's see the example the independent float of activity b here for the activity b the succeeding activity c and the est of particular activity c is 5 so est of activity c minus that is 5 and the lft of activity a as the formula is what lft of preceding activity of selected activity okay the selected activity is b and its preceding activity is a so lft is 3 so 5 minus 3 here i am mentioning 5 minus 3 and the activity time of which the independent float is to be determined that is b activity is active time is 2 so 5 minus 3 minus 2 that is we are getting 0 in this way we can determine the independent float for the activity c as well as for activity a by assuming the succeeding activity for the c and the preceding activity for the a now the interfering float the interfering float is the difference between the total float and the free float it is equal to the head event slack the interfering float for the activity a is 
the total float that is value is zero and the free float value is also zero because presently the activity a is a critical one now let clear our particular uh, question is by taking a example this is an example in which there are particularly five activities and this is a network diagram which is showing you the event times as well as activity times okay here let's see the particular example duration as well as here the duration of the activity or you can say project is 10 and the particular let's find out the critical path now how to identify the activity is critical or non-critical that can be identified by using the floats of the activity in this slide the particular table which is showing you the activities and its activity times with the total floats free floats independent float and the interfering float now let's see the all type of floats for activity a the total float the formula for the total float is what lst minus esc that is 0 minus 0 we are getting a total float as a 0 now free float the free float is nothing else est of succeeding activity for activity a there are two succeeding activity b and c let's see the est of activity b and c that is 3 and 3 minus the eft of activity a so 3 minus 3 it's a 0 and 3 minus 3 you can see it's when we are considering the c activity is a 0 and the independent float the independent float is nothing else it is a particular uh, but a float which can be determined by using the activity times of the succeeding activities of activity a as well as preceding activity of the activity a the succeeding activity the est is of the succeeding activity is 3 and by assuming the preceding activity of a is something else uh, the particular lft will be 0 so 3 minus 0 minus 3 we get the independent float of the activity a as a 0 similarly the difference the interfering float is nothing else the difference between the total float and the free float so 0 minus 0 we are getting 0 here a particular activity a have all type of floats as a zero value because this is activity which is one is a critical one so the critical activity should start as as per defined and should finish as per the defined time now activity b okay this is a activity which is a non-critical one how to identify the particular lst of the activity b is 5 and the ef est is particularly 3 5 minus 3 we are getting 2 means the total float for the activity b is 2 means what this particular activity can be delayed by 2 day maximum 2 day without affecting the overall project duration now let's see the particular free float of activity b the free float for the activity b that is succeeding activity is d so est is 5 minus eft is 5 5 minus 5 is 0 means for the particular activity b there is a zero free float okay and the independent float is also zero but the interfering float is two how oh, the total float minus free float that is two minus zero we are getting two similarly we can determine for the activity c here again we are observing that activity c is a critical one okay the red color is highlighting that the particular activities are critical one so we are getting the value of the particular activity c's total float is as zero free float as zero independent float as zero and the interfering float as a zero similarly for the d activity here the d activity is a particular activity which is a non-critical one so you are observing that the total float the total float is 7 minus 5 that is lst minus es that is 2 and the free float is nothing else its value also to how if i consider some activity succeeding to the event 5 then its particular est will be the 10 10 minus 8 it's 2 
So the particular D activity have the total float is equal to zero uh, two as well as free float is equal to two. So the independent float for the activity D is zero and the interfering float is has also zero. Similarly for the E activity when we observe it is having as it is a critical one all the floats are equal to zero. In this way we can determine the float associated with the each activity as well as float types for the each activities. Now let us select the correct answer for the particular questions. Hope so you have selected the correct answer as been mentioned in this slide. And these are the references for the today's session. Thank you.